Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming this video, which is kind of like my newborn essentials. Just things that I would recommend if you are expecting a baby. Um, congratulations if you are, if you're pregnant and expecting a baby. That's amazing. Let me know in the comments when you're due, because it would be nice to talk to some people who are also pregnant. Obviously, because I've had a baby before, you'd think I kind of have some kind of an idea of what are the newborn essentials. But to be honest with you, with this pregnancy, I have still watched these videos. I love watching these videos because I think things like for babies change all the time. I feel like new things sort of come out. Um, and things change all the time so yeah I feel like it kind of changes so yeah if you didn't know already I have a son called Zach and I'm pregnant with my daughter she's due in July by the way if you hear my son he is next door watching Mr Bean with his dad um, <laughs> so he is obsessed with Mr Bean at the moment he doesn't want anything else not Peppa CBeebies nothing like he wants Mr Bean all the time so I'm slowly getting sick of it <laughs> but um yeah so he usually just watches a bit of Mr Bean. What I'm gonna start off with which I actually have so I have a few things that I can show you here and now things that I've bought recently so the first thing I would highly suggest and it is probably one of the most useful things I bought was the Angel Care bath support. This is the Angel Care bath support. This is just the uh, pink one. When I had Zach, I had the blue one. And this is just amazing. It just makes bath time with a newborn so much easier. You feel a little bit more, well, you feel less nervous using one of these as opposed to anything else because when I had Zach I originally bought just like a bath sponge support thing which my mum used when we were little and uh, I know a lot of my family members who've used one of those sponges that's what we got and it was fine it's on the job um, if you don't have a lot of money to spend I definitely definitely recommend buying a baby sponge support because they're good but for us I just wanted something where it just felt a little bit more supportive just more more comfy for the baby so yeah so I really recommend Angel Care bath seat it has this has this kind of rubbery bit here so it's never cold when you put the baby down to have a bath they won't sort of freak out because it's like freezing cold on their back because it's quite warm and it's flexible it has a little max line here you can see that so there it has a max sign where it shows you how much water you can fill it up with so that's also handy they just feel a bit more supported in this I feel like I can trust myself a bit more not that I can't trust myself but I feel like when I was using the sponge support I felt like I had to have someone else with me just to help me but this, I definitely feel confident in um, washing baby in that by myself, basically. So I believe that was £20. I got it from Amazon, but I know so many places sell it because it's so popular. So I would highly recommend the Angel Care bath seat. The next thing that I would recommend is a sleeping pod. Now, I know the ones that are obviously most popular are the sleepy heads. I think they're called Dacatots or I don't know if I said that right, but that's what they're called now. But to be honest with you, I had the sleeper head with my son and it does, the, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same thing as a, as a cheaper one. Uh, as long as you are watching your baby in it at all times, supervised, then any sort of baby pod that you buy should be fine obviously just check the reviews and everything like that so obviously we didn't go with a sleepy head this time but we did just go with this little pod which looks like this uh so it's called a baby nest 
that is what it's called. So it's not a sleepy head, but it's called a baby nest. It was from Lidl, so a fraction of the price of a sleepy head. I think this was £20. I don't know if they're still selling it at Lidl, but if they are, then definitely get one because yeah it's very similar to the sleepy head and that's just some money where you could save yourself and the nest slash pods are very useful i feel like for newborns because they're just comfy for them they're cozy you know because they're cushioned like in the womb you know they can nap in there as long as you're keeping an eye on them and you're watching them at all times then they can nap in there obviously you can take it about it's lightweight so if you're going to a friend's house or you're going to a family member's house you can take the nest with them so yeah I really I really like the nest but it doesn't have to be expensive <laughs> if you go on Amazon you can find these nests loads of places do their own sort of brands so yeah definitely have a look but if not if you want to get the sleepy head I'd also recommend that it's also great so yeah, whatever you can afford, basically. It's any kind of baby bouncer. So this is one I got. I got this from Amazon. I think it was maybe £30. I'm not too sure. I will link everything in the description bar. But, you know, it's just your average baby bouncer. A lifesaver, really. You know, again, if you're watching them, they can nap in the bouncer. It's nice because it has like the vibrations to kind of soothe them or to help with any sort of like colic or wind. I remember Zach loved being in his bouncer just because I think it did help some of his colic. Most of them have like a toy bar above where they can just see it and they like watching the little toys above them. Just again, a baby bouncer is lightweight. You can pick it up, carry it around the house with you. And it's just really helpful just to just to put them down somewhere where you can strap them in and just keep an eye on them without having to carry them. So, yeah, any baby bounce you can get, I definitely recommend. Uh, again, they can range from cheap to expensive. So it's really up to you, whatever you can afford. They all do the same thing. Obviously, you can get like baby swings and things, but I've never had one of those. So I can't really give my opinion on what they're like. I've heard they're supposed to be really good. Next thing I would recommend 100% is um, a Next Me crib. So we went with the Joey Next Me crib. I think it's called the Joey Roomy Glide. And it seems really nice. The quality feels really nice. We actually had a Moses basket with Zach, but with a Next Me crib, it lasts a bit longer because they grow out of Moses baskets pretty quickly so I wouldn't really recommend them. We also found that with a Moses basket it didn't really feel very secure which we were a bit worried about so I just like that the Joey crib is a lot bigger and um, you can move it, you can drop the side down so that it's level with your bed so you can be right next to your baby. I believe you can tilt it slightly backwards or upwards so that's really good again if they have colic or wind and very lightweight very easy to fold down if you need to take it somewhere so yeah definitely definitely look into some kind of next to me crib just because it will last you longer I mean Zach was out of his Moses basket at like five months because he was such a big boy and it just didn't feel secure at all as he was getting bigger so yeah, really glad we got the Joey Rumi Glide and I definitely recommend it if you can get hold of it or a similar product. Next thing which I highly suggest and I showed this in my hospital bag video, the um, what I'm packing my baby stuff in, is a changing bag. And when I say changing bag, I mean, I mean like one of those bulkier backpacks. You can get them off Amazon. They are brilliant. They can fit so much in them. You can fit your life in there. And when you have a newborn, obviously you need to take so much stuff out with you. And it's just nice to know that you can fit pretty much everything in these backpacks. You know, I'm talking bottles, wipes, nappies, dummies, bibs, 10 changes of clothes, muslin cloths breast pads, maternity towels, everything you can fit in this bag. 
I couldn't fault anything about them and yeah you're gonna want a, a big changing bag to take with you when you have a newborn. So the kind of last thing I would suggest is actually now we didn't get one of these until Zach was a few weeks old just because I didn't want to spend the money on it and I didn't really know what they were. I didn't know whether they were good or not. The Tommy Tippy Perfect Prep Machine was a life saver. When I tell you, just made our lives so much easier in those night feeds when you're half asleep. Baby's waking up every three hours and needs a bottle. Obviously, if you breastfeed, then you wouldn't necessarily purchase this. But as I was bottle feeding... It was a lifesaver. Uh, Zach would wake up every three hours in the night. We'd have to go downstairs, boil the kettle, you know, or get some water that had already been sterilised out the fridge and warm it up and to make up a bottle. And I'd just go downstairs and I'd just find my partner, George, just passed out asleep downstairs just from waiting for the bottle to, like, heat up or waiting for the kettle or whatever. Um, and obviously Zach would be screaming this however is like some kind of fancy coffee machine for babies um it literally sounds like my coffee machine it's really easy you just switch it on i can't remember exactly because obviously it's been quite a while and, and um i haven't got it this time just because i'm planning on breastfeeding obviously if it doesn't go to plan then i will be getting one of these perfect prep machines but you just literally just put the bottle underneath you set the amount puts the um i think you have to put the powder in yourself i think you have to put the powder in yourself and then it will put the sterilized water in that is the right temperature like the perfect temperature shake the bottle and bob's your uncle at the time we had this perfect prep machine in our room next to our bed and that was just amazing literally baby wakes up you can roll over chop some powder in the bottle pop it under the thing and literally in like a second you have a bottle made up which is of a perfect temperature and has just saved you about half an hour realistically so yeah we actually got our perfect prep machine second hand because i wasn't prepared to like pay the full price because they are very expensive we got it second hand it was fine it works perfectly as long as it works and why not buy it second hand if you're bottle feeding i'm telling you now purchase a tommy tippy perfect prep machine you will thank me for it trust me so yeah that is my kind of top top essentials things that you would kind of spend a bit more money on obviously there's things that people um think is an essential which i haven't included in the video so let me know if you have something that you bought for your newborn, which you found like, an essential, then let me know in the comments because obviously I'm always wanting to try new things. Yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions or any questions about the products that I've mentioned. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful to an extent. If you are pregnant, good luck. At the end of the day, your baby needs love and to be fed and to feel safe. That is the ultimate end goal, really. So don't don't feel like you have to go out and spend ridiculous amounts of money on all these things. Because realistically, it's not worth it and you probably won't use it. There's so many things that I bought for my baby, Zach which we just never use. It was such a waste of money, but I can do a separate video on that if you want to see that. So yeah, let me know. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.